This math lesson is about similarity of two-dimensional shapes. It is part of the advanced math program in the Quebec adult education system. Let's look at the problem. Triangle ABC, the larger triangle, is similar to triangle ADE, the smaller one with the ratio of their areas being 1 to 16. Side DE is 24 centimeters in length. What is the area of trapezoid BCED? That's this trapezoid right here. The triangles are right. And the first thing that the student has to do is to realize what type of question this is. This is a similarity of two-dimensional shapes question. And we know this because, first of all, we have triangles. We do not have three-dimensional solids. And we see the word similar in there. It is not about equivalency. It says nothing about anything being equivalent. So the student has to apply the concept of similarity in correctly in order to find values that are necessary to answer the question in order to start earning marks. The first step has to do with that ratio of similarity. We define k as our scale factor, and then we state that k squared has to be equal to 1 over 16. In doing this, we are applying theorem 50c, and we have to say so if we are answering this question in an exam. Now, take note that if you are not studying in the Quebec adult education system, you may still have responsibility for the same theorems, but they may not have the same numbering system. The students in my course have all the theorems in, included in their exam. So the student simply has to say which theorem they're using, and it's enough to give the theorem number with a circle around it so that the teacher who's correcting can see which theorem is being applied. That saves the student time so that they don't have to write out the whole theorem. We then do the square root of 1 over 16, and we get 1 over 4. And doing this, we are finding the ratio of the distances, since what we were given was the ratio of the areas. And it's the ratio of the distances that we're going to need to do the next step. The next step is to do a proportion with that ratio. 1 over 4 represents the ratio of the distances between the smaller on top and the larger on the bottom triangle. Since the 24 centimeters that we were given on side DE is part of the smaller triangle, it has to go on the top with the 1. Cross multiplying, we solve for side BC, this side over here, and we find that it is 96 centimeters in length. In doing that, we are applying theorem 50A, and we should say so. Of course, because this is an isosceles triangle, a fact that we know because we have a 90 degree and a 45 degree angle given, that means finding side BC is 96 centimeters has also told us that side AC is 96 centimeters. So we need to say so because we are going to use side AC in our further calculations. And then I may as well point out that the side DE that was given, the 24 centimeters, means because side uh, triangle ADE is also isosceles, that side AE is also 24 centimeters. So doing this one proportion, actually found us quite a lot of values that are useful in the rest of the problem. Now we have to finish off the problem. We have to find the area of the trapezoid. There are more than one method for doing this. I'm going to show the method first that is using the area of a trapezoid formula, which is given right here. For this, we need a big B, which is the large base of the trapezoid. That is side BC. We found that it is 96 centimeters. To that, we have to add little b, which is the short base of the trapezoid, that is side DE, which was given 24 centimeters. Here is where we're adding them in the first bracket. But then we have to multiply by the height of the trapezoid, and the height is side CE. How do we get side CE? We haven't found that yet. We get it by subtracting side AE that we found here, the 24, from side AC, which we found here, the 96 centimeters. It was to find these two numbers that made it necessary for us to apply the concept of isosceles triangle and prove that the sides were equal in length. Simplifying my formula, I end up with 4,320 centimeters squared. I have answered the final question. 
and I applied my unit of measure, this is a complete answer that would earn full marks on the exam that I correct. A second method involves not using the area of a trapezoid formula, and involves using the area of a triangle formula instead. The first steps are the same, the blue step and the red step are exactly the same, but then we find the area of the large triangle which we get by multiplying 96 by 96 over 2, uh, that is using side BC as a base and side AC as the height, and is again justified by this statement where we found that side AC was 96 centimeters, and we get 4,608. I did not bother applying the unit of measure because this is not the final answer to the question. Then we do the smaller triangle, triangle ADE, and we use the same area formula, of course. In this case, we are going 24 times 24 over 2. The logic is the same, how we got those values, and we get an answer of 288. In order to find the area of the trapezoid, we simply have to subtract the smaller triangle's area from the larger's, and we end up with 4,320 centimeters squared. Of course, it is the same answer as we get with the other method, and we remember to apply our unit of measure. A third method again involves the first two steps. The blue step and the red step are the same, except that I did not have to bother pointing out that side AE is 24 centimeters in this case, because I don't have to use it using this method. Again, I use the area of a triangle formula to find the area of the larger triangle AC, ABC, and I get 4,608. But then I can simply multiply that by the scale factor, 15 over 16, and we get 4,320, same answer of course, and apply the unit of measure. The key thing here is the blue step. When we look at what we've done when we solve this problem, most of these steps are actually rather easy and we're, we're applying things that we were taught in lower level geometry courses. The area of a triangle formula, applying a proportion and a ratio of similarity, applying the concepts of isosceles triangles, these are all um, lower level geometry techniques. The only thing that's new for this course is the concept of the ratio of the areas being the square of the ratio of the distances. And the question has been designed so that the student has to apply that concept in order to answer the question. The only thing that I think you can find that you need to answer this question I'll move to one of the earlier examples. Without applying the scale factor is simply to find that side AE is 24 centimeters. In doing that, you're only applying the concept of an isosceles triangle. The thing is with the marking scheme of the exam that I correct, if a student did that and only that, they would still get a zero. Because the logic of the marking scheme is in order to start earning marks on this question, the student has to use the concept of similarity to find values that are necessary to solve the problem. That 24 centimeter side AE can be seen as necessary to solve the problem, but it was not found with uh, using the concept of similarity. So this blue part is crucial, and that is what the student has to focus on when they're preparing for the exam in this course.